Hey guys and welcome to this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me. I thought I'm going to have my first morning coffee together with you and share with you some exciting new products that I'm going to be trying. I have two of the new Guerlain eyeshadow palettes. I have four in total and I showed you already swatches. So today I'm going to be playing with those we are going to see what happens. I also have a very exciting SPF that I want to share with you that I have been using for the past week and I really love it. It performs beautifully under makeup. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're new here and you love luxury beauty, please be sure to subscribe. I would love to have you here. If you're returning, welcome back dear friends. Let me know what's your current favorite SPF because it's the summer season. I don't go out a lot. I have to say I spend most of the time at home, unfortunately, but SPF is very, very important and I always like to try different SPFs. I wear sunscreen even when I'm at home because sometimes I would just go out on the terrace. So I'm gonna go ahead, start um, doing my makeup and everything that I have on my face is going to be in the description box. I have very light, skincare today and I'm going to take my hair back so that I can apply properly my SPF. Now for sunscreen, since I'm staying home, I'm not going to be applying a lot. The sunscreen that I wanted to show you actually is from Murat and it's their newest sunscreen. This one is the Correct and Protect and it's like a serum and SPF. It has SPF 45. It's very light consistency. It is my current favorite SPF. I have been using it for the past week and I have to say that I'm really, really happy with this SPF. I think that it's one of the very, very best SPFs that I have ever used. I still don't know how it's going to correct um, dark spots and sunspots. Um, I really like it, I have to tell you guys. I am obsessed with this one and I fell in love with this sunscreen from the first use. Now I'm not going to be applying a lot because as I said, I'm spending the day at home, but it really feels like a serum and it doesn't leave a white cast at the same time. It's, it's a mineral sunscreen, doesn't leave a white cast. It feels so light on the skin. And if you're someone who cannot find the perfect SPF, I would say go ahead and try this one. I usually start slowly and then I build up the sunscreen. Now, this one can almost like, going to go ahead and use a little bit more and this is for just at home use if I was going out I was definitely going to apply a lot more but since I'm staying home I'm not going to be applying that much I'm really impressed with this product if you want um, if you're based in Canada or the US you can purchase this with 20% off um, using the code ANGELA20. It works on Murat's US and Canada website. Now, this one was sent to me from Murat. However, I buy most of the skincare from Murat that I have. Like sometimes, from time to time, they would send me some of their products, but I buy 90% of my Murat skincare products that I use. Um, and I, this is a brand that I use on a regular basis. This is a brand that I buy a lot of Murat skincare products. So, so it's really a brand that I love, a brand that I truly enjoy. And if you want to try this um, sunscreen, it's really good. It's quite pricey, but I think it's worth the splurge. I'm going to let you know also how it goes with the correction of um, pigmentation but I usually don't have as you can see I don't have pigmentation apart from some spots that I might have or some marks left from spots but I usually use products to prevent pigmentation so this one I would say is 10 out of 10 I for now this is my number one SPF I definitely need a repurchase um, but I'm going to do so because unfortunately, guys, I have the code ANGELA20, but I can't use it because I'm based in Europe. You can use it only if you're based in the US or Canada. So I have to wait some of my local retailers to get some discount. And I want definitely, I want a backup of this product because it's like the best sunscreen that I've ever tried. You can see now how my skin looks and I applied actually a good amount of sunscreen. I did not... Um, apply here on my neck and chest because after that I'm gonna change in a um, t-shirt. 
it's not greasy, it's not sticky, it doesn't have a funny smell, it actually doesn't have a fragrance. Um, and makeup applies beautifully on top of this sunscreen. I really want, if you haven't found your holy grail sunscreen, definitely give this a go. I don't think that you're going to be disappointed. Okay guys, so I just wanted to let you know about this SPF because it really feels so good on the skin and it doesn't feel like SPF. It literally feels like a serum that disappears into the skin as soon as you apply it and it just um, doesn't feel sticky or heavy on the skin. I find that with most SPFs I can still feel them as you can still feel that it's an SPF. So I'm going to apply a little bit of foundation just to even out my skin tone and I'm using my favorite Chanel foundation for now and I think I've mentioned in the past but I really love this foundation brush from Clay de Peau. it's my number one foundation brush so I'm going to be using the foundation now just to even out my skin tone and almost like concealer well, a little bit more than concealer actually because still the camera is not forgiving at all so okay so you can probably see now uh, as I applied the foundation that the foundation actually looks very flawless I'm not sure how it's going to look on camera but my skin looks absolutely flawless right now after the foundation application and I've tried the Murat SPF with a few foundations that I have. It works equally well. Just because it's like a serum consistency that disappears very quickly into the skin. So I don't do a lot for my brows. I usually like to keep them quite natural because as you can see they are big. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of setting wax. This one is from Sigma and I have been enjoying this a lot. Now when I was applying the foundation I actually didn't apply foundation right here on the sides of my face because I don't like to have a lot of layers on the skin and I know that I want to use a little bit of bronzer just to bring back the life into my skin and my favorite brush for this bronzer and for any kind of cream product is from Refra it's number 24. This one is beautiful. I'm going to have a link to the brushes that I use. So I'm going to use just a little bit. And on my nose as well. We have sunshine today and there is really harsh light coming from this part of my face. It's not the most flattering one but on the other hand I believe that when I have more natural light in my videos you're seeing the colors much better and more accurately because studio lights usually tend to change the light they tend to blur a little bit the effect so I find that natural light um, just helps you to see better the colors as they look in real life now I'm going to be using one of my favorite lip balms. This one is from Chanel and it's the, you can see it here, it's My Rose. It's from the Rouge Coco Balms, which I love. And now moving on to Royal Jungle. Now I also decided to get the Metal Butterfly because... Yesterday I was playing with this palette and actually this orangey color here I think that it's going to look beautiful on the cheeks right now. I think that I can use it a little bit like a blush. Let's go ahead and try. So I'm using a small Refra brush. The brushes are going to be in the description box. And let's go ahead and see. I think that... So I'm using this color here. I think that this is going to actually look very fresh. On the cheeks. Okay, let me know what you think. I know that it's not 
how you're supposed to use eyeshadows, but sometimes, I learned this from you actually, that sometimes some colors can work beautifully on the face. So actually I think that it looks very fresh and let's go ahead and try actually this color as well on my eyelids. I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using one of my favorite refer brushes just for all over the eyelid. This one is 01. And I'm going to apply the same color on my eyelids. There is no fallout whatsoever. The colors blend very beautifully. They are firmly pressed powders. The one that I'm using right now is a firmly pressed powder. It looks very, it feels very light on the eyelids, I have to say. It feels like nothing on the eyelids. I like the formulation a lot. Next, I'm going to be taking this dark brown color and, well, this actually turned out to be a look with metal butterfly. I was not expecting that. I actually did not expect that. I expected that I'm going to be using Royal Jungle primarily and then just try metal butterfly on my cheeks, but turned out that I really like metal butterfly, which was initially my least favorite palette. So I'm just applying the dark brown color on my crease. I think that I like the whole effect so far. Now I'm going to be using Royal Jungle, the palest color up. And I'm going to be using it with my fingertip just to add a touch of light here. And then I'm maybe going to get, maybe I'm going to get, grab a brush to be able to blend this. I think I really like this pale gold color here. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Now I'm going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes. Then I'm going to be using one of my favorite Chanel eyeliners one of the new brown colors and I'm going to be applying this on the outer part of my eye close to the lash line. Okay guys, so I have to say I paused the video to have another shot of espresso because I just needed another one to wake up and I saw that I'm a little bit shiny and that's why I applied very quickly a little bit of Chanel loose powder just to remove that shine that was going on my face and now I'm going to be applying the mascara that I currently use is by Shiseido. I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara. This one is a volumizing one. I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara and I believe that this is going to be the finished look for me. Okay, this is what we have so far and I have to say that I'm very, very pleasantly surprised with the performance of this palette. I didn't expect that I was going to like it as much as I do, but I actually like it. And I'm going to apply a little bit more of the blush because why not? It's summer. I don't know. Um, I really like this as a blush. It might sound weird. I'm using my favorite Refra brush for blushes, for precise blush application. Once again, all of the links are going to be in the description box if I fail to mention any of the products here. I'm not even going to be using a highlighter because my skin is naturally glowy right now and since I have combination skin, I know that it's going to get a little bit glowier even as the day goes, but I think that this is such a pretty and fresh effortless look and my face just feels like I'm not wearing makeup and that's the feeling that I love especially for the summer months I love when I cannot feel 
that I'm wearing makeup, I'm probably going to apply just a little bit of the Chanel Shimmery Oil in the ends of my hair. And that's going to be it. Now for fragrance, I don't use fragrances lately, but I really enjoy this body lotion from Chanel. This is the body lotion of the Paris Paris fragrance. And this one is enough actually to make me feel so good and to uplift my spirit and to make me feel so happy. And that's why I just um, rub a little bit uh, in on my arms and then on my legs and it smells all day. I find that it makes my clothes smell so nice and I get actually some compliments. I usually go only to shop um, for groceries these days. Um, it's not the best summer that I'm having, but this one is definitely a product that I would recommend if you feel a little bit down, if you need um, a little bit of uplifting, if you don't want to wear fragrance, but you still want to feel good and you still want to smell nice or probably I would suggest this one also to those of you who have um, babies or little kids because around kids it's not really great to wear heavy fragrances or at least that's my opinion especially at this time when they are still toddlers when they are still very very young I would not really wear fragrance so this one is a great option just rub it in your arms and legs a little bit and it's going to smell all day and it's not going to bother little kids so thank you so much for joining me in this video and for spending time with me I truly appreciate your time when you choose to watch my videos I hope to see you in my next video please be sure to subscribe follow me on Instagram as well let's be friends and take care bye